Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you the most popular free alternatives for Adobe graphic design software that you can use to create your print-on-demand files or any other design materials for your online business. Most probably you know Photoshop and Illustrator, since they've been the market-leading image editors for a long time. They are mature, easy to use, and offer a lot of features and are updated frequently. However, in order to use those capabilities from Adobe, you need to subscribe to their paid monthly service, Creative Cloud. For that, I will show you the best 5 free alternatives. Each of these programs can do a basics like image editing and creating simple designs for your products and social media. However, some of them may be better structured and have more useful features than others. But before we start, Please give this video a like and subscribe, because seriously, every time you do it, it really helps this channel, so thank you so much for doing it. Starting by Krita. It's a professional free open source image editing software. It's available for Windows, Mac and Linux. Krita is a good raster graphic program with a lot of features. You can create your own custom designs, draw textures and matte painters with its highly customizable brush tool, edit photos and more. It is the only free raster graphic program in the list suited for creating easily all over print patterns, which you will duplicate and merge your main layer together and reflect all the changes made to the master layer. Krita provides a lot of options, so it could be a bit difficult to start with. But when you get used to the tools that you need, you'll be able to create a great design. Next up, we have Photopea. It's a free browser-based program and a Photoshop clone. Since it's browser-based, it runs perfectly on Windows and Mac. Photopea can be used to edit photos and create designs for various business needs. Moreover, its interface and tools look very similar to Photoshop. The same applied for the keyboard structures from the tools. If you're experienced with a Photoshop, then working in Photopea should be simple. With its pre-sized templates, Photopea makes it easy to create graphics for social media. While on the other hand, there are few cons like a small delay in a brush tool, and its ruler tools only measure in pixels, which might need some getting used to if you've been using different measurements units in other applications. Also, Photopea doesn't include some of common fonts like Verdana Georgia and Arial. The next program, Inkscape, a program designed specifically for vector editing. Vector graphics are especially used for creating designs meant for printing on several different types of products. When creating a vector graphic, the print fill will not lose quality when it's exported in different size. Also, Inkscape allows you to set a custom dots per inch for it which is the number of dots in a printed inch. As the number of dots increase, the quality of the print will increase, allowing us to have the more sharpness and details. Inkscape allows you to create complex text graphic designs by choosing any of font styles available on your computer and adding various effects to the lettering. Another useful tool is the measurement tool as it gives you accurate distance value between the elements of the design. Inkscape has a learning curve and takes some time to get used to, especially if you are used to another software. The next program on the list is GIMP, a free and open source register graphic editor that runs on Windows, Linux and Mac. This program can complete the same tasks as Photoshop. Also, you can add more functionality to GIMP by installing plugins created by the community. And as you know, don't install plugin from an untrusted source. The first look at GIMP user interface can seem confusing with the tools, shortcuts and workflow, since it's completely different from Adobe. For example, removing a background from your design needs to be highlighted with a fuzzy select tool. Then add an alpha channel and only now you'll be able to remove it. Also, the fuzzy select tool needs some extra adjustment. The brush tool might not work smoothly sometimes while drawing your design. Canva 
It's not fair to compare it with Photoshop, but it's a useful platform for designers. It can be installed on iOS and Android and can be used in browser as well. Their free toolkit is quite extensive. However, you are unable to enjoy the full features without subscribing to Canva paid plans. Some features such as setting the background to transparent before downloading the design is not available in the free version. Canva is perfect for creating designs, Canva printing, and designing promotional material for your online store. It is a simple tool that you can understand and start using it without effort. Before creating your design in Canva, make sure you're aware about the limitations of their free version. So, did my video help you? If it did, please hit subscribe and click that little notification that you don't miss out any of my videos. And if you like to learn more about printing on demand business, you should be sure to watch my playlist. So go ahead, watch my next video, and I'll see you over there.